Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for March. Another reading for March. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. So this could resonate, uh, you know, I feel like in the next 10 days or so, I'm not sure. We're just going to see what comes up. We're just going to do Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, we, we needed to get one of these, didn't we? We did, we did, we did. Like I did for the other peoples. So we're going to get one of these. Yes, sir. Can't forget about that. So, let's get one of these for Capricorn. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. New spark. Sudden desire. New opportunity. New vision. This is exciting. It's exciting. So, you got an exciting opportunity here that could grow. There's um, an attraction of some sort. Maybe you've met your match or... You see something, you see a bright opportunity, you know, something that sparks your interest with that Ace of Wands. Something. That's a new exciting opportunity, okay? A new, a new, a new drive or a new passion or you're full of passion. Now, um, when you get the Ace of Wands, it's just go for it. Just do it. Just do it. Eight of Cups. Oh my goodness gracious. So the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is turning your back on sadness. Okay. Turn your back, turning your back on sadness. Um, leaving something emotionally. You know, there's nothing there for you. It's a mess. Leaving a messy situation behind. Um, I feel like you have an opportunity to go someplace else. You're thinking about it, right? You're thinking about it. You're thinking about traveling or you're thinking about going someplace else. You're thinking about what happiness is. Um, it's like you, there's a, there's a path right in front of you. You just got to go down that path. I feel like there's some sort of fear here because I'm looking at that moon and moon can symbolize fear. All is not as it seems. You may not be seeing something clearly or you or something you may there is something that you're just not seeing. Put it that way. Um, you may be in a state of confusion or you're you're sulking. There's some sort of sulking. You're probably um, buried in your in your you know, maybe you've been working on your house and your duties have fallen behind. Maybe there's a, a element of depression here. You've been in a state of depression feeling like you're overwhelmed, right? You're overwhelmed. There's too much. You got a lot going on up there. You know, you're thinking a lot about your future, what 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 lies ahead for your future. You're, there's a lot of fear of the unknown, fear of perhaps being alone, fear of growing old alone. I feel like um, you're just having a hard time getting things done because it's just an emotional time for you right now but I feel as though the door is open you the door is open for a new opportunity you just have to choose to go through that door you know you have to make that choice you know if there's something uh, in your life that is causing you upset or that you just don't want to deal with anymore maybe it's time for your new life you know, I think there's unfulfillment here. We have somebody here that is a happy, right? They're not getting the emotional fulfillment that they're seeking. And it's like, it's, it's no fun to do it alone. It's no fun to be alone all the time. And I feel like, you know, you're feeling very alone, but it looks like there's an opportunity because I, because the door is open, the door is open, but you're going to have to face your fears. Okay, it's even I mean, who even wants to do the dishes when when you're in a state of depression? So I feel like we have somebody here that is in a state of depression because you have to make that move. You have to go through that doorway. You have to go down that path. You have to make that call. You have to make that choice. You have to face your fears. You have to face your own demons unless you want to be alone. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but it feels like. There's some dissatisfaction and, and depression. I feel like it, there's a depression, but the door is open for change, but you have to take those steps. Nobody is going to take them for you. So I think you're doing a lot of thinking. You're thinking about leaving. You're disappointed. You're disappointed in where you're at at this point in your life. And you know, that's normal. That's normal. Those are normal feelings. 
it looks like you you um all you need to do is pick your head up and face forward and take those steps Five of Swords reversed. Now the Five of Swords reversed is this. This is like uh, all-out war, volatile, humiliation, uh, mourning, not listening, not uh, heeding a warning. This is somebody who's mentally dysfunctional. Now you could be dealing with this person, or you know, I'm not. I'm going to be honest with you. It could be you. This is uh, all-out war or a volatile situation, like I just said. It's, but it's also. Uh, Letting your guard down. You need to let your guard down. Maybe maybe you've been in a volatile situation which has caused you to hold a grudge. There could be somebody here that is holding a grudge. You can't be holding grudge if you want grudges if you want to have a positive future. I feel like um, this is like surrender. Surrendering to uh, what is. Um, let's get some more cards. Oh, oh my goodness, the lovers. So this, the, the Five of Swords is, uh, in reverse, is not fighting anymore. It's been a war zone. It's been hostile, right? Or you've been in a situation where it was a lose-lose situation. Maybe you were trying to win and it wasn't about winning. And if it wasn't you, this could always be somebody else. The Five of Swords reversed. I, I hate that card. It's the, my worst hated card in the deck. Okay, this is revenge. Somebody has been trying to get revenge. It's not about getting revenge. That's only going to hurt you. And yeah, it might hurt the other person, but it's going to hurt you as well. Because this could be exposing crime. Somebody's crimes could be exposed. Anyhow, we have the lovers now. The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. Okay, it's like all of a sudden. And, and you think about the Ace of Wands, that's very sudden as well. So I think there's a sudden opportunity for love here with somebody that you are very much uh, connected to. This is like a kindred spirit. This is, this is comfortable. This is beautiful. This is lovely. Okay, this is a healing love. There's a spiritual connection. There's a sexual connection as well. So there is, and this is like a soulmate. Okay, this is like... Uh, an angel you see that angel up there bringing two people together two people that are perfect for each other so it looks as though maybe maybe you have been in a hostile situation and all of a sudden you got this opportunity with somebody uh that is absolutely perfect and if that wasn't a hostile situation it was a lose-lose situation but now this is this is like this is like all of a sudden this is right here it's like they brought you two together so you've been brought in together with somebody that is perfect for you but it's not I don't think it's the one that hurt you I don't think it is the one that hurt you this is somebody different this is also falling in love. So I'm wondering if somebody is falling in love. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So the Knight of Pentacles reversed is somebody who is lazy. Somebody that is irresponsible and unfaithful and jealous. They drop out. They don't follow through. Somebody that is... Um, a sponger and unemployed. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with... Or you deal with this person in the past... This is somebody who doesn't follow through. They don't. They don't follow through with their plans. They don't. They don't have any goals. Um, they're lazy. They don't have anything of value to offer. I don't know if that is you or the person that you are dealing with. And this maybe this is somebody who just sponged off for you, and that's why you have this. You know, maybe this is hate um, built up or fear or fear. Yes, it is fear. There's there's this there's definitely des um. Uh, what's the word? Depression. Depression. So, worried. Worried. We have somebody here that is very worried about being taken advantage of. Because they were taken advantage of somebody for, from somebody in the past. So you got to let go of that fear. you got to let go of that worry. I see that you, I think it's you, are extremely worried. You're extremely worried about being taken advantage of. I think you have this... Uh, beautiful connection here that they have brought to you, but there's a lot of worry and and uh, 
anxiety, anxiety and um, being afraid, just being afraid of being taken, of being used, right? Being hurt, being left as well, being, being used and then being left, being abandoned. So I think maybe somebody hasn't been putting in a lot of effort, right? Maybe you haven't been putting in a lot of effort or somebody else hadn't put on in a lot of effort in the past, which has caused some sort of, either it's happening now or it happened in the past. Uh, this is a... Uh, sad we definitely have some sadness here we do have some sadness a dog might start barking here in a minute um something is about to be revealed you could be dealing with somebody that um is very seductive to you i see a seductive energy here and you're it's almost like you're blocking your emotions you're hiding your truth you're hiding your feelings you're hiding your feelings there, Capricorn. Why are you doing that? Why are you hiding your feelings? We do. We have somebody here that is blocking their emotions, hiding their feelings. They're, it's like they're and they're losing because of it. This is losing. Okay? There's no victory. There's no success. And there's no success because somebody is blocking because they're protecting themselves. Protecting themselves from getting hurt again. If you don't, if you don't open yourself up, you're going to be disappointed and you're going to be doing those dishes alone for the rest of your life. You got to open yourself up. You do. You know, we have somebody here that is choosing to be single because of fear when there's a beautiful opportunity here. And, and when I say now, this reading could be you or the person that you're asking about. We have somebody here that is choosing to be single. We do. And they have a beautiful opportunity with somebody that is perfect for them. It's a perfect match. It is. But there's there's no progress being made because of the, the fear, right? Blocking of emotions, anxiety, holding on to resentment, holding on to the past. This is a very painful, stressful decision with the two of swords. It's like you and this is a choice as well. So we, we have a choice here. You could you could choose to be with this person that is uh makes you feel good or that you feel a connection with that isn't the one that hurt you because this is always a choice between two. Okay, it is. So you can choose to be with this person that uh, is perfect for you. Or you can choose to hold on to the resentment from the person that, that broke you, that hurt you, that took advantage of you. That's your choice. There's definitely worry, anxiety, um, and resentment here. And blocking of emotions, not opening up. Um, which doesn't lead to victory. It doesn't lead to success. It, stays, it, it keeps you in a lonely state of mind so i feel like we we have somebody here that is protecting themselves to the highest degree whether it's you or the person that you are asking yourself asking about and also we have somebody here that is ignoring their intuition it's like you're being poked right you're saying this is the one this is the one or give this person a shot like the ace of wands a new spark because it's somebody new it is somebody that that is is not the one that hurt you. Okay, this is somebody that is. You already know this person. I think that you've met this person already. I do. I feel like this person is is somebody that has been trying to, or you've you've had some sort of interaction with this person. You've already built some sort of connection, obviously. Um, but there's a lot of. Uh, not listening, not listening to your gut, not listening to your intuition and, and not moving forward, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is just not listening. They're not listening. Therefore, they're not making any progress, but there is a beautiful connection here. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, uh, but this is about taking action. You need to find your confidence and your courage and your uh, strength to take action. Okay. This is about, um, Make a decision. Make a decision and stick to it. Be strong. Um, Queen of Cups reversed. Uh, it's, a, it's an emotional time. You may be dealing with somebody that is very emotional. You may have a choice between two people. Um, one person is overly emotional. They cry. They can't master their emotions. They have throw fits or whatnot. That could be somebody that you're dealing with, male or female. This person... Um,
well, this person is is vicious. This person is vicious. This person is is, is throws tantrums. We may you maybe maybe that's who you dealt with in the past, and maybe that's why you're afraid. If this is you taking on this energy, you may not, you may feel like you're not worthy. You may feel like you're not good enough, or you may feel like uh, nobody's ever gonna love you, or you may not just be able to master your emotions at all. You may be an emotional wreck. You may you may need to maybe you don't love yourself. This is a lack of self love right here, or you could be dealing with a queen that. Uh, doesn't feel good enough, doesn't uh, know what love is, has never been loved before, if you are the masculine. And this queen is needs somebody to sweep her off her feet. She does. This queen is has been hurt. She has been hurt. And she can be emotional. And she can guard her heart because she has been hurt. So, anyhow, we do have somebody here that is um, afraid to give their heart away. No doubt about it. Um, and this is the masculine taking action. The king of wands takes action. So it looks like this guy is looking at this feminine and, you know, thinking about uh, helping. Because this is a healing love. She needs help to heal. She does need help to heal. She has been hurt. She has been hurt. And nobody's ever listened or took it, taken care of her. So, um... <laughs> So it looks like this guy is is uh, going to take action towards this feminine. He is. I don't know if this is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or if this is you. This guy is looking at this feminine. He is looking at this feminine. And this feminine um, needs love. She does need love. She needs to be taken care of. This could also be the feminine that broke him. This could go, I could go all day again with these cards. This feminine does throw tantrums. She does throw fits. She, um, she's wicked. She can be wicked. She can be a victim. She may play a victim. She may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. So, um, somebody has been hurt here. They have been hurt very, very badly with that five of swords reversed. And, and it's like there's now there's a, there's a soulmate connection here with somebody that is perfect. But there's definitely a lack of progress being made because there's a blockage. There's a blocking of, of, of emotion. There's fear of being taken advantage of. Um, and, we, and, we, and there's uh, a lack of awareness. There's a lack of awareness that... Um, this is a healing love and that you should go for it. Is somebody going to go for it? Are they going to go for it? Strength. Yes. I would say that is a yes. I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is going to find their strength and their courage to let go. Because that is what the strength card is. And maybe you're dealing with a Leo. I don't know. But the strength card is about letting go. Finding the strength and the courage to let go. To let go of the pain, to let go of the fear, to let go of the hurt. So we do have a masculine that is going to take action. That King of Wands is going to take action. He sees that somebody is hurting and he is going to uh, uh, make some sort of move by the looks of things. That's what I think. Usually the King of Wands takes action. He does. He may, He sees. He's got the Ace of Wands in his hands. Remember, we talked about that. He's got this vision. He's got this this idea per se. You know, he's got this new desire, this new drive, and he is going to take action. That is a yes. That is a yes in the Tarot, the Magician upright. So he is going to take action to bring success. He is going to. So we do have a masculine that is going to. Uh, Do whatever it takes to prove himself. It is a masculine too, because the magician is a masculine. It's a masculine card. This guy is very intelligent. He's very determined. He's very determined. He's going to take charge. He may not have been listening to his gut for a while, but he's about to. So, uh, this guy could be... Uh, Oh, 
I, what I was going to say is, is taken over. He could be taken over. Taken over. Uh, somebody else's role, okay? Because this person dropped out. This is a dropout. This guy dropped out. This guy didn't put in effort. And now we have this one that is. So somebody is, is taking action and, and be prepared, okay? Get prepared for... Uh, somebody to take charge of a situation. I think that's it, don't you? Very strong. A lot of strengths here. We have a very strong, strong, strong man here. And it looks to me as though he sees somebody that is hurting and he's it's almost like he's coming to rescue her or something like that he's going to take action there could be a loss here though because this is a loss and this is a loss somebody may be losing a soulmate connection or a kindred spirit or a person that they have feelings for because they don't take action and somebody else is getting the prize so be prepared. Good luck.